Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to today's class. So, last few classes you had varieties of techniques. So, we were kind of in a break from all this immunology detail of the Im and biology part of the immunology or the, the immune system. So, we are discussing about different techniques. So, I hope you had a break from all this B cell, T cell, macrophage, lymph, uh, lymph node and all these things but we have to come back to again into our main immune system to know what is going on in different part of the immune system. Because so far whatever we discussed I am just if I tell very quickly we know what is innate system, we know what is adaptive immunity and then what are the components we know B cell, T cell, cytotoxic T cell and T helper cells, macrophage, neutrophils, inflammation more or less you complement different effector functions everything you know and antibody structure the how the diversity of B cell T cell receptor uh, arrived to that many varieties of different kind of B cell these part we have discussed right we have discussed as much as detail possible or within the scope of this course because there is a no limit because you can study even more detail. But, uh, as it is going like too many times we are kind of discussing MHC antigen processing also you know right. So, now the thing is all the components of immune system are known. Now, we have to learn how immune system understand to protect us not to making any harm to ourselves, but we have to handle the foreign pathogen or the pathogenic or material or toxic material that body is handling which is coming from outside. So, we first we learn different components then we will learn now in uh, some uh, lecture that we are going to listen that how immune system learn how to recognize which one is foreign which one is not and what happened what time. Because whatever we discussed before now we are going to discuss with time. Okay. So, we are going to start with development of T lymphocyte, okay. De development of T lymphocyte first, then we will discuss development of B lymphocyte and then we will see that how they learn and there are a lot of places you will see it is not known and it is a mystery, mystery means not discovered yet okay. exactly what is happening, but still we will try without going much detail as much as possible to discuss right. So, before going to detail I will just uh, I mean it is not possible at this moment to know what is your feelings like how much you understand how much you remember. I am sure many of you read novel right in novel what happened there are so many varieties of characters. So, if this is new if you are not aware of this novel all the characters are new to you you do not know their name. So, gradually you will learn different names and, gra and then you learn their character okay, depending on the uh, writer or the author you the way the author or the writer explain their character you learn who is good, who is bad, okay, who is the hero, who is not. So, in any and many story you will find there is a Robin Hood kind of character who is very helpful doing and somebody is protecting, somebody is a head of the family or head of the society. So, so many ways and the story goes in such a way and continuously there are a lot of interaction with different people. Immune system is just like that. Okay. There are many characters initially we will find so many uh, complexity like okay, not remember, but gradually you go you learn them, you know their character, you know their job then only you have to just like story what, what I mean me if you ask me when I am reading a story whenever I am reading a, uh, about any character automatically an image of that person 
build in my brain like how he will or she will look like what he is doing how he is doing that is my imagination ok. So, if you remember if you can visualize the whole immune system just you know the story this is a story assume that immune system is a story of variety of character and they are doing their different job. So, what will happen if you close your eye and can imagine what they are doing and you give the shape and size of the character and then imagine okay, this is this he is doing like that or it is doing like that they are interacting how they are interacting not like exactly human being. So, you have to slightly change your idea like how cell behaves you have to you know how cell behave. So, same way if, if you are reading a story just the book then your imagination is 100 percent your imagination when there is a jungle you imagine a jungle how it will be the complete your imagination. But as soon as you go to comic what will happen the artist imagination is implies on you like you can see the jungle the way artist saw it you will see the person the artist think about him or her same way we are showing you, you the different cartoons here in immune this immune system story. So, how the B cell look like, how the macrophage look like, how the um, dendritic cell look like. So, that is the, the artist imagination. You can completely ignore that, you can think of your imagination and think the story in your own way or you can imagine like a comic book that we are following the slide. So, like okay, how they look like, then if you know the story gradually even the name you find complicated. Many of you have uh, read the Harry Potter story when it comes first there are so many characters, so many varieties of name, but still you like it and there are so many complicated things are happening. Initially you might have problem to remember the name and their relation and all this kind of magic world, but gradually when series came one after another you know everybody's character you feel I mean you can feel for them, you can think for them, you know how they look like, but as soon as you saw the movie the image in your brain change. Now, you cannot think how the Harry Potter looks like because you have seen him right. In this case cell also if you are working with it when you see the cell under microscope how exactly it will look like your imagination will be like that. So, what I will suggest every chapter every book think this this is a story. There are B cell is one character, macrophage is one character, NK cell is one character, helper T cells cytotoxic T cells are one character they have a communication that communication is between a code or signal that signal is the cytokines. So, they are some Robinhood like T helper cells which is helping everybody there are a fighter like cytotoxic T cell. So, imagine that story and think the whole immune system will be very very simple and straightforward. Once you can chalk a whole communication thing or the table in your brain, then you will see everything is so easy and simple. Do not try to understand discrete way that part is over. So, we explain individually what is antigen processing, what is MHC, how it is fit into MHC and how it is happening. So, this part it is already shown right. Now, it is up to you how you can understand. So, now you have to imagine in your own way keeping everything you remember and try to link them. So, then you will enjoy the whole story ok. So, this is my suggestion that is how you can remember the immune system. What you will find like what I am going to do or I am doing rather or rather we are doing is just we are telling story like thing. So, this thing happening that thing happening something we know something is I will tell ok we will know later because some every suppose there are 4 or 5 things happening in a story parallelly ok. So, what is happening you cannot show in a movie all 5 things together. So, you have to show serially sequentially particularly in any detective story this is very common ok. This is also because here some cells are there who are spying all the time figuring out where the pathogens are. So, they as soon as they got they are doing something all things or many things happen parallelly until unless you imagine together then you will not get the fun ok. See if you want to have fun and understand nicely 
learn the character first then try to link them together and see what is happening if there is an attack and our heroes like b cell t cell macrophage all all of them are very particular about they do not want to do any harm to our own cells. Okay. So, they are so specific about the foreign and if there is any problem then there will be disease. Okay. So, that training part is very very important and that is why we are going to go one by one. First we will discuss about the T cell development then you will see B cell development it is not possible simultaneously one by one we have to teach. right? So, B cell and T cell lymphocytes you know they are coming from the same progenitor lymphoid progenitor where they synthesize they synthesized in bone marrow. right? So, in bone marrow the B cell synthesize and T lymphocyte precursor is also synthesized, but B cell developed or get the training or mature, mature means they understand how to un know which is self and how to distinguish from self and non self that training is we call it development. During that development receptor is also formed, how the receptor form V D J recombination, V J recombination that we discussed already, here we are not going to go detail we will just say when this V J recombination is happening, when this V D J recombination is happening we are not going to go detail we just mention it because you know much more detail now how this thing is happening. So, B cell most of the B cell are developed in bone marrow. So, that training or maturation is called development I am repeating again. So, B cell developed in bone marrow and T cell precursor after synthesizing in the bone marrow they migrate to through blood to another organ called thymus. Clear? So, that in that thymus T cell mature or T cell development happen. T cell is not the passenger of in thymus. So, they are not just going in thymus. So, they control the thymus also. Okay. So, both the cases they need rigorous training or screening, rigorous screening for both B cell and T cell. Why? because if this screening is not done properly or if there is any faulty screening what is going to happen they will not recognize our self protein as self. If somehow they miss this thing or if the our own protein they start understanding so no this is foreign then what will happen our immune system will try to kill us. So, that rigorous training is very very important many part of that rigorous training is not yet clear but something which is clear we will discuss as much as possible. Okay. In case of B cell one thing we have to remember that though you will learn later B cell produced throughout our lifetime. Okay. B cell produced throughout our lifetime, but T cell produced in thymus that thymus after puberty are shrinking down. Okay. So, the property or the it is not that no T cell is produced, but the production of T cell or maturation of T cell slows down very much. And it also have seen that after puberty in mouse particularly after puberty if you take the thymus out. So, if you cut the thymus or operate the thymus out from the mouse nothing much happened to immune system immune system is equally working. That means, before puberty most of the T cell are mature and after maturation they remain in our system they divide and maintain the specificity or the variety or the diversity. Is that clear? Anyway if it is I mean so far whatever we discuss we are going to meet in a live session. So, uh, I hope uh, many of your doubt no I may not clear all the doubts, but most of your doubt whatever we discuss I hope it will be clear in the uh, live session uh, very soon. Okay, so, do not worry for that. So, if you have question we will be there. So, now so this B cell continuously produced throughout the lifetime. So, if there is any mistake that there is a chance of mistake can be 
uh, over like ok, because this B cell every cell has a lifetime. So, B cell will die new B cell will come. So, if there is a mistake that may be short term if there is not uh, very bad mistake, but in T cell it happens before puberty most of the thing happen. And in T cell development I also should uh, tell you that T cell development whatever we know it is we know mostly from mouse ok. And I already told you in one class mouse immune system and human immune system are very very similar right. So, most of the information that we are going to give or discuss in the class it will be from mouse only ok. Very little information and human information where it came if any uh, uh, individual is defective in any organ or something then only we can tell you ok what happened in mouse ok. So, what happened I am telling you initially the both B cell and T cell part B cell receptor uh, B cell uh, grow they make the receptor if any receptor binds to our own protein that cell will die that you know from clonal selection hypothesis right. But in T cell receptor what happened? In T cell receptor, so T cell is there, so this is the T cell, then the receptor grow, so from T cell receptor grow like this and first thing is it should interact with our own protein, because T cell cannot recognize antigen without MHC and that MHC is my own MHC, clear. So, if T cell receptor does not react with MHC that will die. So, this in case of B cell what we said if it interact with our own protein that cell will die that is a clonal selection we I hope you remember this is called negative selection that means, as soon as you remember uh, recognize you have to die, but in case of T cell first selection is what selection of our own protein. So, if this is the MHC the T cell receptor and MHC should interact and antigen should be in the middle right antigen should be in the middle. So, antigen and I told you MHC is very uh, not stable and MHC 1 and MHC 2 both are presenting our self antigen also, but that cannot activate T cell right. So, first T cell after generation of T cell it should interact with MHC. So, that is what MHC my own protein in B cell if it interacts it will die, but in T cell it should interact this is called positive selection. So, first you have to select positively. So, after V D G and V J recombination so many variety of receptor will form, but all receptor we do not need I am talking about T cell now I will not talk much about the B cell. So, T cell receptor after V D J recombination in the beta chain and V J recombination in the alpha chain there are so much variety of that kind of cell and in the receptor only those receptor will survive which will interact our own MHC that is self MHC that is called positive selection. So, in this case interacting with cell protein not really kill them that will select them. So, then what we want? Then we want that same receptor which survive, survive means which can recognize our own MHC those will only survive and those T cell which has the receptor which pass the positive selection now interact with our own protein. If it interact with the self antigen they will die. Now, you see it is so uh, complicated initially I am saying if it interact then will survive with the self antigen second I am saying that if it interact with the self antigen it will die that is the negative selection. So, in case of T cell receptor both positive and negative both the selection are there. So, now if you calculate that way positively selected cell means they react with the self antigen then negatively negative selection means they also react with the same antigen. So, if you calculate both, so all positively selected cell interact with self antigen will die that means, there should be no T cell. Listen again positive selection means it is going to interact with our own protein then only they will survive. 
otherwise all will die. So, the T cell receptor which can recognize our own protein will survive. Next time I am saying if it is interact with our own protein it will die. So, that means whatever selected before all should die and there should be no T cell receptor. So, this part is still very hazy. Okay. That is not, but there are hypotheses will come what is happening, what are the probable thing that is very interesting. So, discovery of this thing is very interesting. Okay. I will try to tell you as much possible to dis, uh, discovery part just because if I tell you just the information like this, 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 there will be 10 points and you have to memorize the 10 point. All this 10, 15, 20 points, I can tell you this thing happening, this thing happening, I can show you slides where lines are line after line will be written, I will read out or you can read the book, but you cannot remember that. So, if you remember experiment behind it, how this thing or how this line came after what experiment, if it is possible, not always possible, then what will happen? Even if you have a big story against one thing, in your life also you will see. If there is only one, if you, somebody said you one thing, you may forget, but if there is a background of any thing, the lot of things, then it is hard to forget, because some, if, as soon as you remember something, rest of the part you can remember. So, that is that is the reason I will try to tell you some experiment by which you can remember or at least chance of forgetting the things will be less. Many experiment you may not understand, because now neither I am in a position to explain you much or you are not in a position to understand better, because many things um, uh, you are not not in a position at this moment at this stage of your course, maybe in fourth year at the end of other course is over molecular biology and all these things when everything will be known, you may understand, but at this moment you may not understand. Do not worry, I will try my best to explain as less complicated way as possible, but you have to understand that. So, experiment I will tell, why I am telling all this thing not telling much about the immunology, I am telling immunology because I told you immunology is a story. So, I will just keep on initial part was just description of things what is happening. Now, I am going to tell you story one after another, you have to just remember the story and if you it is like a different chapter of a story, okay. uh, you just have to put them together to complete the whole uh, story or the whole novel whichever way you understand. So, how this positive selection and negative selection happen that will understand and simple thing. Now, all of you know every book it is written I am also telling and told you so many times T cell mature in thymus, how it was known I mean how suddenly all the part of the body someone will see that okay, T cell is going to thymus and it is uh, mature there. It is discovered even before the B cell B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte is discovered. Okay, B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte discovered it was discovered before. It was accidentally discovered that in mouse if somehow the thymus was removed their immunity goes down that time B cell T cell was not known. Okay, it was not discovered. So, that just by that discovery it was identified that means, thymus has some role in it in immune system. What is that role? It was not known. Okay. Same way there is human disease Dijor syndrome. In the Dijor syndrome it was found that something is wrong. So, B cell population is perfectly all right, but T cell population is low. Okay. So, this discovery sometimes it should be through disease or some accidental discovery. So, it is no one can suddenly from all the body parts why thymus it is not known, it was not known. Now, everybody knows what is happening. In B cell and T cell development there are one difference is in B cell there is no positive question of positive selection is required because B cell receptor directly can recognize the antigen, but T cell we have to recognize the MSC right T cell receptor should recognize. So, that is one difference. Another 
difference? Just I mean uh, what is the B cell and T cell difference? B cell T cell difference is definitely their life one is it is uh, through lifetime it is happening and T cell mostly it is happening before puberty. Okay. In mouse what happened? Thymus maturation, thymus, thymus maturation continues up to 3 to 4 weeks after birth, but in, at, in case of human at birth I mean before birth you can say just before birth or when we are we born before that thymus maturation is complete. Okay. In B cell and T cell both some portion of the cell, some portion of the cell is mature not mature in bone marrow clear. So, that is why at the very beginning I said most of the B cell mature or developed at bone marrow, most of the T cell mature and developed in thymus. There are some cells which is not mature in thymus in case of T cell, there are some cells which not mature of mature in bone marrow in case of B cell. There is one more very good difference in B cell, B cell receptor is only one type right. What is there? Two heavy chain, two light chains, but in case of T cell what we have? In T cell receptor most of the T cell receptor is alpha and beta type that we already told. Most of the receptor is alpha and beta type, but there are certain receptor which is gamma delta type. So, the two type of receptors are present in T cell which is not in case of B cell. So, this all I am mean, while telling I mean if you consider that I am telling like a story no slide nothing. Okay. So, this is also I am keep giving you information careful about it. So, two type of receptor present in T cell okay, alpha beta and gamma delta, but in case of in case of B cell we have only one type of T B cell, but there are certain T cell also okay. less variant or invariant natural killer type T cells, T 17 cells, T regulatory cells. So, so, not only cytotoxic T cells and just in general T helper cells there are some more sub population of T cells which you will learn not now. In this lecture I mean in, in continuation of this lecture because it will continue a uh, few lectures T cell development and T cell immunity next few lecture we will we are going to discuss. We are I am particularly going to discuss mostly the alpha beta T cell receptor development and partly gamma delta T cell receptor development uh, T cell development not the receptor we already discussed the receptor. So, T cell development will mostly contain the T cell with alpha beta receptor and little bit of gamma delta receptor and rest of the T cell receptor thing we are not going to touch much until unless it is necessary in some future cases. Something we need and that time we will tell what is that not much detail is known also and we are not going to make uh, this course that complicated because then there is endless actually. Okay. So, this is just I can say this is the introduction of T cell development, real T cell development discussion will start in the next lecture. Okay. See you then, bye.